Well, I'm beginning to wonder whether it's Friday the 13th. And it's M Margaret back again. What time are we now? Ten past five. And it's walking through the living room where this Symbidium is. And uh, a leaf fell off. And I thought, well, that's funny. Why what's caused that to fall off? And <coughs> um, that's fallen off from that area there. Not that one, but that area there. So then I look again at this Symbidium. This bearing in mind was bought from um, Marks and Spencers on the 24th of October 19 and I just named this, it's an OID but I just named it uh, Blushing Bride because it, it changed the colour and uh, so then I was walking through and then I thought to myself to watch this because it's a bit unstable on this uh, in the sink and then I noticed this leaf here which has just fell off. So that's two leaves. And then I'm looking at this leaf. I mean, I passed this Symbidium, it's in the living room, I pass this Symbidium every day. Well, umpteen times during the day, simply because it's where I walk past in the living room. And if you remember this one, I did have a little bit of trouble um, with this area here um, because it started to rot and uh, f very fortunately for me just hold on I'm just wondering what that spot is and what that spot is now just hold on I'll have to get the magnifying glass hold on right so what I'm trying to do is get you in as near as I can just to check on what these two marks are and uh, whether I can see it any closer with the magnifying glass and let me just have a look here Oop. off camera well I've still got you there Does that seem like anything living? I don't think so. For an awful minute there, I was panic stricken, thinking, oh goodness gracious, I've got thrips or something else like that. But I, I don't think I have. Oh, that's a relief. I'm going to have to bring you back slightly now, because otherwise I'll tip the uh, I'll tip the tripod up. So, like I was saying, this particular area here. Uh, I did have a little bit of rotting and you'll see that I lost one leaf there. <coughs> now we've got these two new growths coming up here. There we go, can you see those two new growths? And if we turn it round here, we've got this other new growth. Right, let's make sure there's nothing lurking down there. So that's another new growth. And then I did say that we'd got the start of a new growth down there. But that this pseudo bulb here was soft. You see, and it's still, if I push my finger in there, can you see? It's still soft. So what I thought I'd do while I've got you on camera, and uh, let's see if you might just have to bring you down a fraction. I'm going to peel this back here. So we're going to have to have the scissors. And um, because what I don't want to do, I don't want to disturb this plant if I can help it. But if this, you see the leaves aren't on this, the bad leaves are not on this um, orchid. They're on this um, pseudobulb behind it, this one. So let's just peel this back and just let's see what we're looking at. I tell you sometimes, really sometimes you just do wonder whether, you know, it's all worth it. So let, 
and, and I'm going to lift this out. Now, that, you see, to me, that's all soft in the middle. So what I'm going to do now, while I've got you on camera, is, um, just bear with me a minute, I just want to put something at the bottom of the bowl. Right, I've brought you right down now, because what I want to do is just to empty this into the bowl. And I've just put some um, paper towel in that we have in the garage. So let's just, if you remember this one, I'd never unpotted. Let's just have a look. Can you see down there? Smells all right. It's um, um, let's put it on. Loops a little bit. I don't know if you're going to see down there. Loops a little bit mouldy. Have you just? Bring this out. I should really have my gloves on. But I, I'm... Uh, I'm being lazy. Right. Let's just have a look. This bottom part of the uh, bar to me has been kept a little bit too wet I believe so let's just move that over to one side and then let's let's see what we what we're dealing with here now I can't believe this See, there's that root system, all intact, and let's have a look under here. See, it's it's potted in bark. An actual, in an actual fact, um, we have signs that these some of these roots are about to extend. Can you see? In the light, can you just see? there and these. Can you just see them starting to extend? But when I look at this now and I feel this, this feels wet. See there's that area where that um, new growth is. And then when I looked here, let's just swivel it round, I've got the start of a another growth there. Why is it wet when it shouldn't be? And this, I can't tell you, this is, this is, this is just like, um, it's potted in uh, peat moss. So what do you do? I can't disturb these roots at the bottom because they're, um, They've already started to uh, to grow. Now let's just have a look. I'm just going to gently, if I can, just prise <coughs> one or two little areas here. Because if it is that it's potted in that centre <coughs> in peat moss, then I'll know what I'm dealing with. I hope you've seen what I'm seeing. <clears throat> Actually, I should have removed this bowl, Keith will go mad, because this is our uh, washing up bowl. And uh, I do try and keep things separate. But now again, it, and, you know, sometimes you forget. And uh, that's why I've put paper at the bottom of the bowl. So. Am I going to get any headway here? Now that, you see, that's a papery root, that bit. Uh, put 
Where is it? Why is it papery? Let's have a look. It's coming from under there. So let's let's just see. So what? I mean, there's not a cat in hell's chance that I'm going to remove all this. And really, I shouldn't be attempting it. I think what I've got to, you see if I <coughs> if I leave this now to grow on and if I put it out in the spring um, and it's potted in this peat moss then um, I could be in trouble because um, I'll be thinking that um, it's got bark in the middle and it hasn't it's got peat moss which will keep it a lot lot um, wetter right so I'm just going to put you on hold a moment I'll try and keep coming back every time I just uh, remove some of this uh, compaction here um, because it what I'm trying to do is, uh, of course, just to see in the middle, because there's no, there's no way I'm going to be able to uh, unbound these roots. I think what's happened, you see without, you've got to be very careful because what I don't want to do is, um, here we go, is really to damage as few roots as I can. Some of them are papery and what I don't want to do of course is, is wet them. I don't want to wet any of these roots. Here we go again. But I think what I might do is uh, now I realise that we've got a bit of rotting going on here. Take some of these off. Take one or two of these tips off. See, it's, it's absolutely solid. See, round this area here that I'm trying to make headways into, I can actually put the implement right down and this I'm sure has got um, sphagnum moss in it. a massive piece of bark here which is wedged in you see that's the trouble as I'm going in with this implement I'm damaging some of these roots and that's what I don't want to do let's try and get this big piece of bark out yeah that's fine but I have damaged that root in there Right, I think what I'll do is just see if I can clear around here just a little bit. Remove any damaged roots, I've damaged that one you see. Now I realise that it's um, that it's got either sphagnum moss 
or peat moss. Then I'm going to uh, not water it as much. Can you see that right down there? Let's have a look. That's this area where we've got these two new growths. Okay, let's see what's this area then here. It's a piece of bark. Right, okay. So, I've cleared this part here, okay, and uh, let's have a look at just here, because if I can release just a few of these areas where it's just underneath these pseudo bulbs where it's been getting too wet then maybe and now I know that it could have um, peat moss in it then uh, I think we're going to be fine see that's a that's a root. I see that one's damaged. Can you see? And then from that damaged root, we've got this damaged root. So, right. Let's see if I can pull that out. And then I'm just going to then. Back in the same part. See that that root's not good. See how soft it is. So that can come off. That's just by this growth. Right. So what's that growth attached to? Let me see that new growth there. That's just behind that flower spike. So. Just see what's inside this pseudo bulb. See whether I can cut it out. Even though it's got two parts of it, see, it's fine. But we've got one part that's. Uh, sorry, that is. Hold on. Hold on. be very careful of is you see is the uh, gunge that's going to come out of this suitable and I've got to try and not damage the other suitable let's just have a look can I get through there without Completely. Oh, Italian sweating cups. So 
sorry about that shaking, but uh, there we go. Right, I'm going to have to go at it this way as well. There we are. Right, so that's the middle bit. Whew. So we've got this rotted area here. Which I'm going to try and remove. And that's where the And we've just got that bit of rotting in there now. So what I can try and do with that little bit of rotting area there is just get some cinnamon. And then I'm not going to mess about with it then. I'm just going to pot it back up in the same pot. But now I've got rid of that, um, that offending pseudobulb. Maybe it'll be okay. And then that'll allow this new little pseudobulb to uh, to grow. Okay. I've oh, just caught that one. Just a fraction there with the with the knife. So I'll put some cinnamon on that. Right, just hold on. Well, what we do for the love of orchids. This is cinnamon. And I've got some Q-tips in here, and I've got um, a bite full as well, you see. So this is the area that's been rotting. That's that rotted bit there. So this area I'm going to... Just bear with me. What I've got to make sure is that I've got no rotted bits just down here. transferring over to this other pseudobulb here. I think we might be alright there. See there's a little bit of moss there. Okay. Right. <clears throat> there we go. Now what I don't want is for any of that to transfer onto those roots. So what I'm going to have to do now is just hold on. Just wrapping it round. There, can you see as I'm wrapping it round this area and the roots. And then there's the roots there. And then what I'm going to do with these roots now is um, place it back in this pot. Okay, that's, there's the offending suitable. remove this old bark just gently just that away from there now I did down there have a stop but I'm not going to put a stop now what I'm going to try and do is uh, just plant this High, well, not high, but a little bit proud. Okay, now if you look down there, 
it actually does seem to be whenever I take that down there you think it could be over potted and that's what I shall have to remember because um, some bidiums don't like to be over potted okay so I could put some styrofoam peanuts down there let's see if I can get you a bit nearer as I'm doing it I could put some styrofoam peanuts down there now don't you damn fall which is the best way to angle you just hold on right what I've done while I've been off camera, I didn't realise I was off camera. <clears throat> I've been back filling, but I've not been banging because I'm on a glass worktop. So, you see, that's what I didn't. That's what I didn't want to do. Can you just see now that area where I've got cinnamon on those roots? Now, you can't have cinnamon on your roots. So, and I can't blow it because I shall blow all that uh, cinnamon over these roots that are exposed here. You see, so I'm going to dust them, dust these roots. There we go. And hopefully, that root's no good anyway. Um, you see, that root can come away. Let's cut that one away. The one that's been affected by the cinnamon. Let's cut that one away. And hopefully, this other little area here won't be affected. What's that root there? That's another little root, you see? Let's cut that off. Whew, tell me, it's like, it's like an operation, this is. And I know now that uh, this media is quite, uh, well this root system, not the media, but the root system is quite damp. So in future when I'm going to water this, you see that's another little root that's just come away. Um, I'm going to have to uh, be careful that I don't over water those areas that I made a little inlay into it. I can perhaps just tuck some uh, bark underneath there. So let's just pick you up and just have a look at this cymbidium. You see what I mean now about it being a little bit proud. There's that growth now, so that should be fine. That was the growth behind the rotted one. And this is one that's got um, a bad leaf, which is this leaf here. So that may well come off, but we don't have to worry about that. And we've got those two new growths there. We've got that one, hopefully will grow on there. And we've got that one that's going to grow on there. So uh, one, two, three, four. We've got four new growths. So thank you for joining me again and uh, I should be ready for a rest this weekend. Bye bye now.